<laughs> run, Forrest, run! Run, Markiplier looking dude, run! Hello everyone, this is Warrior Dan, and today we are playing Serial Cleaner. This is a game I found on Keymailer.com. I got a free uh, Steam Steam review key for it. And we're gonna check it out. I've already played a couple levels of this game, but we're gonna go all the way back to level one. The purpose of this game. Oh, I forgot we're using the arrow keys today. I'm so used to uh, WASD, I forget that the arrow keys are still a thing in modern day technology. But that's okay. We're moving on to the first level where we must find and pick up dead bodies and bring them back to this car and basically clean up the mess of a serial killer. Yeah, sounds like fun, right? Perfect way to introduce you to crime, as if Grand Theft Auto San Andreas didn't do enough of that already. Okay, let's pick this up. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh oh, I don't want him to catch me. I rather don't. I have a policy of not being caught and beaten by police. Okay, let's try to sneak by. Let's be nice and sneaky. Here we go, here we go. Don't notice me, senpai. Thank you. So if you haven't guessed, the purpose is for the cops not to catch you, like this one's about to. No, no, no. Don't catch me. Sneaky, sneaky. Grab that. And run. No. Do not catch me. I want to pick up dead bodies and run away with them. Wait, that sounded kind of weird. Come on, let's go, 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 go. And we're one body down. Wait, that's it? That was easy. Bye-bye. Okay, next level. So the animation style is based off of pixel animation. It's like pixel-based animation. I'm, I'm sure there's a better term for it, but that's what I'm calling it. I love the style. It's very simplistic, while at the same time being detailed. No, you're not going to catch me. Fuck it, I'm running. <laughs> Screw this. I don't get paid enough for this crap. Hi. They're not going to catch me. They're not going to catch me. They're not going to... You didn't catch me. Let's see if I go over here. Will he notice me? Nah. Well, that answered that. Huh? No. I'm in the box. You can't get me. <laughs> okay, well, that answers that one. I probably should, should know by now. Don't mess with the place. Oh, I... That's bullshit. I landed in there. we make it? I don't think he's gonna notice me if I take this dead body, will he? Nope. Surprise, motherfucker. How did you notice that? You weren't supposed to see nothing. I think I can make it before he catches me. We'll see. So it's all about timing. If you can watch the patterns in how they turn, wow. you can predict where they're gonna go. You can kind of plan around everything. No! How, how did I get stuck? <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I don't know how I got stuck there, but you know what? Whatever. You didn't see nothing either. I'm just gonna run over here, drop it off in the car. That's one body down. Time to pick up some more corpses. I don't get paid enough for this, for this necrophilia habit. So, what do you think of this concept, guys? Would you play a game where you have to pick up dead bodies and then drag them away in a car? Because that sounds like a pretty creepy horror movie in a nutshell. Pick up the basketball. You know you want to. He's not- <laughs> What? What was that? I walked right behind him. He didn't even see me. And he turns around, does a 360 on me. That's- That's bull. I'm gonna grab this one because it's harder to get normally. Yeah, you go, you go check that one out. I'm gonna take this dead body from you, and I'm gonna take this one. Oi. Oi. You're not very bright today, are you? Now, time to grab the basketball player out in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. No, nope, they won't notice me. I <laughs> just run away in the middle of the street. And they don't see anything. Oh, 
Okay, I got two of the bodies. Where's the third one? Okay, so the body is not over. Oh, I see it, I see it. It's up in the top right. So let's run over there, grab our body, and head out of the supermarket. Or whatever that is. Actually, no, that's a boxing ring. Forgive me. It's been a long day. Huh? No! You're not gonna catch me. Stop trying to. Now all I have to do is... Oh. There's... There we go. Now I just have to grab the key, I think. And where would that be? Because we can't get in the car just yet. We need one more thing. And I want to say it's here in the gym. Is it here? No, that's where the body was. Oh, it's right there. Wait, no. Oh, no, it's here. Okay, this is what I need. Time to make a getaway. Not before I blow a kiss to these lovely officers. Nope, maybe that was a bad idea. That was definitely a bad idea. Bad idea! Okay, now I have to do this all over again because I was being stupid. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Markiplier-looking dude, run! <laughs> they don't notice the one blatantly obvious box in the middle of the street. And they're not even going to try and figure out why the body is suddenly bagged. <laughs> Truly great work, detectives. Let's get out of here, shall we? One level done, let's grab some more dead bodies. Okay, so we're in the middle of the woods, you know, little house in the prairie type scenario. And we're going to pick up this gun and... Wait, we can scoop up blood? That's awesome. I mean, totally bad. Never, never do that. Never start vacuuming up other people's blood. The game is honestly a lot of fun, and this is an early access game. I don't often see an early access game that looks honestly complete, especially from like a small or indie studio. You know, like a small indie developer or small studio. This game is definitely very polished. The art style is wonderful. The gameplay is a lot of fun. And I love the music. And honestly, those are like the top three or four things in the game for me. If the music's good, the sound effects are good, the art style, like the visuals and all that are good, and the gameplay is good, then you've got pretty much everything you need. Go, go, go. Stop standing outside my door. Thank you. Crap. I really can't move anywhere right now. No. You don't notice me. You don't notice me. Stop chasing me. There. I disappeared. Okay. Nope. Apparently, I don't have time to scoop that up. Wah. I love these little Lego video game like grunts they make as they're looking for me. <laughs> Let's start scooping up all this blood. Huh? Apparently they did notice me. <laughs> that took a little while. Is he going to notice me if I hide behind these trees? Probably not. Let's just put the body there. Grab this one. Put it over there too. <laughs> you almost saw me. Scoop up all the blood, get our 60 points, and move on to our next objective. Wah. No, don't! Don't get me! <laughs> he is so close to getting me. I don't think they can get you when you're in here. I mean, it's hard to tell, but... So far, I've been lucky. Huh? No, go away. Please. Don't notice me, senpai. Okay, so to catch up where we left off... I went back, cleaned up all the blood on the level, except for that one little bit right by the body bag right there. We're going to grab the last body bag and get the hell out of this place. Ready, set, go. And... Actually, wait, gotta clean up that blood. No! Running back to the boat, back to the boat, back to the Titanic. Just gonna wait for this guy to stop messing around. Let's go over here where we may not be discovered. I don't want to be caught. Don't want to fail again. Leave the body. We're running. We're running back to the house. Oh no, we left the body in the one place that all the cops are covering. This is going to definitely be interesting. I'm grabbing this and getting out. I'm just going to leave it here because that's easier to, for me to get to than right in the middle where they were. Let's wait for this guy to go away and... No. He's going to guard the bag for a minute. Do his 
daily spin around and then walk away. Like so. Grab the bag and run. And now, at last, we can get out of here. And on to our last level for today. Here we are in some kind of office area. With the cop right in front of us. We have to clean up this blood quickly, get our bodies, and get the hell out of here. Sounds like a good plan to me, so let's do it. Currently, I'm just trying to sweep up all of the blood. Let's hope they don't notice the sudden disappearance of blood. How are we going to hide, though? I don't get this. There's no hiding spots. Unless... Okay. Yeah, let's wait for this cop to go away, clean up this blood. Like so. Okay, now that all the blood's gone. Well, except for this bit right here. Now it's gone. Wait. I'm a, perf I'm a perfectionist. This is bothering me. Okay, now it's gone, I think. Is there anywhere we can hide? It's not really. This is very tricky, because I don't really have a good hiding spot here. Nor do I know where the car is, so I almost have to sneak past this guy, I think. Like so. Oh my goodness, this whole place is covered in blood. Or is it just a dark room? Oh no, it's just a dark room. Okay. That's not so bad. But where are we putting this body? The Daily Telegraph. Or the Deadly te Telegraph, I like that. That's that's good. a uh, good choice of name. Oh, we drop it out of the we drop it out of the window. That is that is very cool. I love that. We just drop the bodies out the window of a building. <laughs> that is so wrong. Like I'm genuinely laughing because that is so wrong. Just drop bodies out of a window and watch them fall. That is a sadistic level of fun that I can appreciate. That's more sadistic than I would normally go, but whatever. I'm not the developer. What? Come on, knockoff Markiplier, you can do it. Drop that body out of the window, and quickly, before the cops catch you. No way. Hurry, just pretend it's the Acepticeye. Don't touch me. I'm carrying Jack's body. Bye-bye, Jack. <laughs> okay, so who are we carrying off next? No, 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 he's going to catch me. No. Oh, right, I forgot. That area is not covered by them. It's okay, we clean up some blood. we got to clean up a lot more blood, apparently. Okay, so we got 50 blood out of 80. Let's keep cleaning up blood. Wait, we can hide in here. It's kind of cool. That brings me back to the days of Alien Isolation. Damn, that was a good game. Good horror game. I'm never I'm never going to forget that Xenomorph. No matter how hard I try. I love how the cops don't really question anything. They're just like, you know what? Blood's disappearing all over the place, but it's cool. So here's a question for all of you watching. If you were going around, say, um, cleaning up after dead bodies, what would be your first priority? Taking out the bodies or cleaning up the blood? Nah. Personally, I, I'm obsessed with cleanliness, so I'm going to go with the blood. Because blood leaves more of a smear and a stain than dead bodies themselves do, I think. But that's just my own personal preference when it comes to murdering. Now, granted, I have no experience in the subject matter, but we're going to learn a little bit today. You know, for, for this very hell of it, I get the feeling I'm going to come back to this game and do a review video on it. I'm planning on doing a top 10 best of 2016 and a top 10 worst games of 2016 video. I don't know when that's going to happen, probably early 2017. Because, well, I gotta wait for the year to be up before we count down all the best and worst games. But it's gonna happen. Now, if you have any ideas for games that I, I should cover in my best or worst of... Granted, I do... I Ultimately, I'm the one that makes up my mind about what games are included on the list. But if you have any games you want to see me, you know, cover and possibly include in the list, I'll take it under consideration as I make up my mind. Okay, back to blood cleaning. Oh, I've read I forgot there's no place to hide back here. There's only one place to hide, apparently, in the whole level. Go away, please. Thank you. I'm just going to fling an innocent body out the window. Don't come down here, please. Thank you. I'm going to grab this. And <laughs> grab and run away. Who? Huh? <laughs> you still can't catch up to me? Well, I'm just going to stand here. Like, whatever. I'm Markiplier. It's cool. Nope. I disappeared. Like the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Now go away. Okay, so we've got almost enough blood points to call it a day. But not quite. 
We got 68 out of 80. Let's try to clean up this room a little bit while nobody's looking. So far, so good. Okay, we got enough. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> yep, we're definitely getting the hell out of here. Waiting. I just gotta grab that body in the top left and we are out of here. It's so much fun. Like, I'm not trying to sound phony when I'm saying that. I, I genuinely mean this is fun for me. I don't... No! It was fun for me! It was fun for me! Ah, it's still fun for me. Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to plaster myself here in the closet. Don't look. Nah. I'm hideous. Huh? No! Don't notice me. I'm going to run away. i steal this cadaver. <laughs> oh. And here we go. Huzzah! I don't know who says huzzah anymore, but still. Let's get away. Get the hell out of here. Okay, what do you think of Serial Cleaner? I thought it was a pretty cool game, honestly. Like, I'm not going to say it's game of the year. It's not, like, that great. But it is a lot of fun. It's very simple. It's very sim It's very simplistic. The art style is great. It focuses on very simple, almost childlike illustrations. I, I kind of like it. Some it's like something out of a storybook. The art is really good. Uh, it's Again, it's simple. And so many games out there focus on these very advanced, realistic graphics that feel like a movie. It's almost like a complete mindfuck to play something that is totally, totally cartoonish and free to be artsy. I think that's why I find these kinds of games so enjoyable. Also, for some reason, I I, I find the idea of um, <laughs> breaking the law and having fun with it to be just hilarious. Whether it's going around and um, uh, being inappropriate in public, such as with Indecent Exposure, where I went around indecently exposing myself, and here you are cleaning up after a mass murder. <laughs> it shouldn't be this much fun. It should feel horrible. I should feel horrible as a person, but I'm just having way too much fun. So I'm going to leave it at that. This has been Warrior Dan. What do you think of Serial Cleaner? Are you going to be the kind of person that wants to one day grow up to be the ultimate cleaner after someone's murder? Well, I sure as hell am not. But I had a lot of fun with this one. This is Warrior Dan. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and tell me in the description what do you think of the idea of throwing dead bodies out windows. No, I'm kidding. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and send me ideas for future videos down in the comments. I always enjoy hearing them. This is Warrior Dan signing out. Peace out. Bye bye.